minimum geometry. We should distinguish here between geometry versus complexity. Unnecessary geometry increases polygon count and causes a component file to be larger than needed, whereas complexity, group, and component nesting has minimal effect on file size. Here, I'll use four sides for the segmentation of the arc. Show hidden geometry, and you can see it represents itself just as well as the 12-sided with far fewer polygons. You can create chamfered edges that represent quite well without polygons of a full radius curve. Select that, move it up, turn on auto fold. We can hide those edges. It looks quite nice. Or back up. We can we can soften those edges. Now they look smooth. Turn on X-ray mode using the X-ray mode box here at the end, or you can use View, Face Style, and X-ray. Look at your model. See if there are any areas that could be simplified and not affect the final quality of the model. Here you see there's a lot going on in the inside of this caster. This axle and the hub can be eliminated on the inside. Turn back off X-ray. The orange piece, the hub, can be simplified to be just the outside, saving a lot of polygons. Those two pieces become that. Model just the outer shell of the object. Don't include interior parts that no one will see. Look for stuff that's obscured from view and delete it. Let's turn on hidden lines here. Keep your polygon count to a minimum to represent the dimensions of the object correctly. It represents itself just the same with far fewer polygons. Remember, 3D warehouse components are used as part of larger designs. The casters go on a cart, which in turn goes inside a warehouse. Suddenly, the brake clip on the caster is insignificant. Some modelers use a shortcut to make a complex model appear more simple by turning off the display of edges in the style. The problem is twofold. The end user will probably be turning edges back on, turning the component black, and more importantly, there are still too many edges. Simplifying the circle segmentation of the cross-section of the tube results in a tremendous reduction in the size of the component. Here, from 23,000 to 4,000. Not bad. To make the chair look better, rather than relying on hiding or turning off edges, we should employ the use of smooth surfaces. For the legs, we can select all the geometry and right-click, context-click, and select Soften Smooth Edges. Softened edges are rendered hidden, and smooth edges treat the surface as one continuous form. There, this accomplishes what we want. Let's try it with the molded seat. Triple click to select all the seat, then move the slider just a bit, and there, that looks nice.